hybrid cloud and its value to enterprises. Thank you for taking the time to attend today's enablement session. My name is Gopal Raghavan, and I'm part of our Cloud Data Partner Programs and Strategy team. Today, we'll cover the value of adopting a hybrid cloud strategy, some of the common challenges that we see in enterprises which hybrid cloud can solve, a quick introduction to how Cloud Data, Data Platform supports hybrid cloud strategies, some specific use cases for how hybrid cloud strategies can support new workloads or improve existing ones. And finally, we'll talk about the advantages that Cloud Data, Data Platform brings to the table. Let's look at the value of a hybrid cloud strategy to an organization. Every enterprise wants to be data-driven and transform into a digital organization. However, there are some big barriers in the way. But a survey conducted by Harvard Business Review the top three barriers include lack of analytical expertise, data silos and multiple data copies, and organizational silos. Silos cause most of the security and governance issues leading to compliance and regulatory breakdowns. These silos occur due to a variety of reasons like departmental decisions, organizational strategies, and events like acquisitions. The hybrid cloud addresses a fundamental reality that today data management is happening all over the place. There are silos of workloads being run in a variety of infrastructures such as on-premises, private clouds, public clouds, which could be both single and multi-cloud. The data cited here is from a 2019 Harvard Business Review study on how companies do data management. Note, that people could choose more than one option. That is why the numbers add up to greater than 100%. 47% of them are doing a lot of the data management on premises. Almost a third of them are increasing their utilization of private clouds. About one quarter are already running multiple public clouds. The takeaway is pretty straightforward. We are in a very heterogeneous world when it comes down to data management. If you want to secure, protect, and govern your data across all of these different environments, you will need a different approach to data management. This brings us to the definition of hybrid cloud. A hybrid cloud is the answer to today's fragmented data management reality. The concept is to use the best mix of on-premises, private cloud, and third-party public cloud services to meet your business needs. Hybrid clouds allow workloads to move to different deployments as needed. For example, to meet business requirements or even dynamic bursting to improve performance for variable workloads. Hybrid clouds are highly flexible. They enable organizations to choose the best deployments for their needs and the most cost-effective deployments. Here are some specific challenges that we've seen in our customer base that hybrid cloud addresses. An issue that we hear a lot is that lines of business just can't wait for IT. At a North American financial services company, for example, there is a six step process for getting a workload up and running. 25 plus use cases were on hold because it takes 30 plus weeks to get it to step five. And that is just too long for a lot of line of businesses to handle. Another big problem is shared dependencies. In this case, a telco is struggling with multi-tenant workloads across 140 plus nodes of a monolithic cluster. We call this problem a noisy neighbors problem. This results in IT missing SLAs. Finally, budgets and data centers that are at near capacity are driving the need for new approaches. In this example, one of the largest automotive companies has a mandate to move workloads to public cloud to save money. They run a warranty analysis report, which is critical to the business, but is very expensive to run it in a full capacity data center. This is a great candidate to move to cloud. To summarize the common challenges that we see among enterprises, organizations are looking to augment their on-prem strategy of cloud, but they need to do it in a smart way so they don't run into unexpected costs, performance issues, or compliance risks. Cloud Data's next-gen platform, CDP, gives organizations a straightforward path to the hybrid cloud. Let's take a look at it. 
CDP comes in different flavors for different infrastructures, all tied together in a single common control plane and with a single open consistent layer of security and governance across analytics, across infrastructures. You can deploy on-premise along, alongside multiple private and public cloud options with the flexibility to choose your deployments for individual workloads. With a single pane of glass to manage data across multiple different types of infrastructure, whether it's multi-public, cloud, private cloud, or on-premises. The platform is designed to let you deploy new workloads at cloud speed in minutes rather than hours or days. A single security and governance layer means you're managing data consistently no matter where it resides and how it's being accessed. Finally, CDP prevents vendor lock-in. You can utilize every resource available to manage data effectively and efficiently. We are seeing more and more that customers don't just want to be tied to one infrastructure. They want to be able to use a combination of architecture for flexibility, and CDP can support them on this complete journey with shared data experience or SDX layer tying data together. Cloudera solutions are based on design principles centered on flexibility, experience, and efficiency. Due to massive strides in network performance improvements, solutions can now be decoupled very easily to provide a lot of agility. For CDP public cloud deployments, we use the provider's object store like S3 for AWS and ADLS Gen2 for Azure, et cetera, to decouple storage from compute. We are also driving the roadmap for Ozone to help us uh, decouple storage from compute for private cloud deployments. CDP provides a platform as a service or PaaS experience with pay-as-you-go billing and efficient utilization of resources to optimize cloud spend. So where do you start? Let's look at some options on how to leverage hybrid cloud. Let's look at it from the perspective of net new and existing workloads. Let's say you're looking at cloud options for new workloads because you're running out of on-prem capacity. In this case, you can take a new workload to the public cloud with CDP. CDP has three capabilities that make it easy to take your new workloads to public cloud. If you have an existing on-premise cluster, Replication Manager makes it easy to replicate metadata, security policies, and other data governance assets, along with the data to move to your infrastructure of choice. You only need to replicate the data you need. You can replicate on an ongoing basis to save time and cloud costs. The workload analysis makes it easy for you to diagnose your workloads to minimize any inefficiencies. Minimizing inefficiencies in a Spark or Impala application, for example, can eliminate hidden cloud spend. SDX of the shared data experience is comprised of metadata, security policies, and other data governance assets. This gives an enterprise a single version of truth in interpreting all the data assets, no matter where they reside. Another path to cloud is to migrate existing workloads to the public cloud. We will explore this with a case study. One of our customers, a large telco in Asia, provides a useful case study. This illustrates the flexibility of a cloud form factor in running machine learning workloads. Some of the key challenges faced with this, by this customer were the amount of data, which, which is around 0.5 plus petabytes generated and ingested daily, along with scalability issues and constraints of legacy systems like SaaS. The impact was having highly paid data science professionals fighting over resources and having a lot of projects put on hold. The solution was to leverage CML, Cloud and Machine Learning, in public cloud AWS. This prevented the data scientists from blocking one another and reducing project backlogs. The fact that you could use multiple frameworks with CML or cloud or machine learning is a huge plus as well. The outcomes were really positive in onboarding a lot of use cases. It also resulted in identifying some potential cross-sell opportunities for us. We are driving model factory and AI automation, which are key strategic initiatives for the customer. So let's take a look at why cloud data was a good fit for this use case. All aspects of the data lifecycle are covered in the platform. 
For example, we could use Minifier at the edge to collect data, Nifier for moving data, and applying machine learning at a and AI at scale using Cloudera Machine Learning. The shared data experience, or SDX, which consists of table metadata, security policies, and data governance, can be leveraged to make data assets portable across different deep launches. Our competition does not have this capability. Different machine learning teams may require different frameworks for the projects. The design of Cloudera Machine Learning, or CML, makes it easy to leverage different software versions and frameworks without being dependent on a single version. Additionally, the cloud native features include the ability to auto scale as needed and help with budget optimization. Let's look at another pathway to leverage cloud. Bursting to public cloud when you have mission critical workloads with variable usage and data centers that are at near capacity. Data warehousing and business intelligent use cases can really benefit from this kind of solution. We will look at burst to cloud with a case study. The pain point illustrated here shows that both the data centers are under tremendous pressure. They are full, which means that the data service owner has to ration resources. This means that not everyone's SLAs are going to be met, which means that the business is really going to suffer. The company has a mandate to leverage multi-cloud with a preference for Azure. They don't want to be tied to a single public cloud provider, which could lead to pricing issues in future. They want to be able to engage the best cloud provider with an, with an eye to optimizing OPEX budgets. They want to ensure that only data that is required for a use case will be moved to cloud. This in turn enables them to control costs and align with the customer's mandate of moving 25% of workloads to public cloud. So why was Clouder a good fit for this use case? Point solutions and cloud providers lock customers in the platform. If a customer wants to move between different cloud providers, for example, there are huge cost implications with regard to data movement. Clouder enables the movement of just the data and metadata required for analysis to the infrastructure of your choice. Having a single and consistent view of data eliminates silos of information and in turn reduces to the total cost of ownership. Clouder is able to provide this ability via the shared, shared data experience or SDX. Our competition, including the cloud providers, do not have this ability. Having no common security and metadata and governance policies encourages shadow IT and in, and in, and in turn uh, increases the cost of ownership. Cloud spend is the biggest challenge for customers. Preventing rewrites and building efficient applications goes a long way in optimizing the spend. Let's look at a unique cloud offering, CDP Private Cloud. Private Cloud is for all customers that want a public cloud-like experience but cannot go to public cloud either due to regulations or sensitivity of data. In some cases, the customers hesitate to go to public cloud because they're concerned about hidden cloud spend. Some salient differences between CDP private cloud and data center editions are, CDP private cloud is very simple to achieve multi-tenancy and isolation by deploying capabilities like data warehousing and machine learning in containers orchestrated by Kubernetes. This helps with noisy neighbor issues. Private cloud is easier to provision, manage, upgrade, and scale as needed. Infrastructure a customer can be utilized efficiently by leveraging Kubernetes orchestration and private, running private cloud on it. As compared to CDP public cloud, the differences are private cloud requires installable software. Capabilities like data warehousing and machine learning can be deployed on a shared Kubernetes cluster on-prem. Customer manages the single plane of glass, which is the control plane, to manage all different on-prem deployments. Finally, private cloud leverages Ozone, which is the object store pioneered by Cloudera. It's a very disruptive way to provide the same experience as the public cloud in-house. Let's take an example of isolating workloads to private cloud with a study, with a case study. This is one of the largest customers uh, who wants to surface insights from the massive amounts of data with the public cloud-like experience, but on-prem. The amount of data uh, 
and the, the number of tables and customer uh, and the users running workloads really causes a lot of strain in their existing data center implementation. If you can imagine running regulatory reporting on this massive platform, it is just a mind-boggling proposition. Obviously, with the monolith cluster, resources have to be shared, which means that there is competition for resources. This results in SLAs not being met, but more importantly, regulator, regulators expect to get this information on time to ensure that compliance requirements are met. Given that public cloud is not an option and they want to run workloads in isolation using a public cloud-like experience, CDP private cloud is the only option here. It provides the same experience as public cloud with each workload isolated from others to prevent noisy neighbor problems. But at the same time, it ensures that chargebacks are allocated uh, properly to different departments. So why was Cloudera a good fit for this use case? Cloudera Private Cloud is a game changer in providing the public cloud experience on-prem. It is the only choice for customers that want to eliminate noisy neighbor issues by providing better isolation and multi-tenancy. Running private cloud on a shared Kubernetes cluster enables efficient use of infrastructure and optimizes budgets. So these examples should give you some ideas about how your organization could go down the hybrid cloud path. So how does Cloudera bring unique value to hybrid cloud deployments? Cloudera platform, Cloudera data platform was designed from the ground up to give organizations choices within an enterprise data cloud strategy. In other words, you can adopt public and private clouds the way you want to and you can quickly address new business needs. Because you can spin up new workloads in minutes, Cloudera Data Platform empowers enterprise IT to say yes to those lines of businesses to whom they have historically had to say no or maybe later. Defeat Shadow IT. With the speed of deployment offered by CDP, you can offer cloud services for data warehousing and machine learning that BI analysts and data scientists want to use all secured and controlled for the business. Improve performance for mission critical analytics. The isolation and bursting that are possible with CDP hybrid cloud deployments addresses some of the big problems that Cloudera customers experience with large on-prem clusters and help IT meet SLAs. Drive cost efficiencies and reduce TCO. As we have seen from our case studies, CDP gives you a lot of choices and you can develop strategies that fit your organization's unique cost models. You can optimize both your CapEx and OpEx budgets. Finally, Cloudera's open approach lets you prevent vendor locking. Thank you for taking the time to attend today's session. See you in the next session.